Hi folks and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mooney and I want to thank you for joining me today. So we're going to do another DIY recipe. This one's a little bit different for me. It's not really one of my recipes of choice. Um, I make it for my fiance. Um, if you've watched my first video, which was absolutely horrible, but it's first video, so whatever. Um, it talks about how taste is subjective. Um, and this is really one of those recipes that taste is subjective. A flavor that a lot of people, including myself, get off notes really easy on is chocolate. And this is a chocolate vape. So I'll give you all the details about the recipe and all that like always at the end. So let's go ahead and go down to the mixing cam. I'll mix it up real quick and then we'll come back and I will talk about it. Alright, so this is our almond cookie. We're going to start with Almond Roca by Flavor West. We're going to put in 1.5%, which is 0.94 grams. Next, we're going to put in Flavor Arts Cocoa. We're putting in 0.2% of that one, which is 0.13 grams. Next, we're going to put in Flavor West cookie butter. That's going in at a half percent, which is 0 0.31 grams. And our old favorite, Inawara Toffee, is next. And that is 4% of that, which is 2.51. And then, of course, our next one is Capella Sugar Cookie. That one is going in at 3% three at three which is 1.86 grams. Head over. Next is our sweetener. 
one full percent which is 0.78 And last but not least, Trace Leches. Two full percents of that, which is 1.25 grams. And that's all she wrote for this recipe. I'm going to add my fillers and I'll see you back up top. Okay, so that was the mix on this. Um, so let's go over the flavors first, like usual, and then we'll talk about it. Um, so there's two chocolates in it. We're going to start with the uh, Flavor Art Cocoa, which is like a Hershey's cocoa powder. It's a very dry, very dark... Um, with almost no sweetness to it whatsoever. And then the Almond Roca, which is a softer, milkier chocolate with a lot of almond notes in it. Um, and then um, chocolates can be really, really dry. So the almond butter, I mean the almond butter, fuck me. The cookie butter is one of those things that will help keep that as a moisture flavor on it. Um, then, of course, you have my three co three flavor combination that if you've watched any some several of my other mixing videos you'll see that I really like and that's the horn toffee the sugar cookie and the trace leches the trace leches is like a really thick condensed milk um, it's got a little bit of darkness to it a little bit of burnt sugar to it um, so that kind of adds a more liquefied toffee to it and in this case, it also helps keep the chocolates from being overly dry. Also, the sugar cookie can get dry. Um, it's turned down in this recipe because of the fact that it does dry things out if you go up higher. Um, a lot of times with a cookie base, for me, the sugar cookie base for me, I like it a little bit higher. I like it 4, 4.5, 5%. Um, but in this one, it had to come down because it dried it out. Um, and then pretty much the other flavor in it is sweetener. So if you don't have Sugar Daddy, use um, half a percent of Capella Super Sweet, 0.65 if you're using Perillum Super Sweet, um, so, or whatever sweetener you, you, you personally like that would be equivalent to a half a percent of, of Capella Super Sweet. Um, so yeah, I'm not huge on the chocolate vapes. I get that really off rubber band kind of note to it um so this one's not one that i make generally for me um it's a long steeper it needs at least three weeks to steep um and and at that point it becomes much better at the three week mark um the chocolate's moistened up from the um trace latches has had time to develop the shook the uh cookie butter has had time to develop and those flavors come through very buttery. Um, the horn toffee is pretty much ready to go in a week. But, you know, it, it, the, the chocolate mellows out. The rubber band notes go down. If you try it off the shake, you're not going to get any almond out of it. Okay, just be ready for that if you try it off the shake. But the longer that it steeps, the almond does come up. Um, Honestly, it's it's a sleeper more than a steeper. It, the longer you let it steep, the better. Um, so that's 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 a chocolate recipe for everybody. Yeah, I'm going back to my fruits. Um, okay, so thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, as always, advocacy links, my personal links, Teespring links. Uh, her vented link, all that stuff is down below. Um, 
Got a big list coming, got a uh, big list, big countdown video coming up for Thanksgiving. Um, Friday will be the next uh, installment in our uh, Franchise Wars uh, horror rankings. Um, and then, of course, Friday will be um, another recipe video or DIY, depending on what I decide to come up with between here and there. Alright, so as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, y'all be good, y'all be safe, and y'all have a good one.